Rival Run Half Marathon, probably like 30, 40 minutes ago already now. So you got all the cool medals. I just got this thing called a pizza cone because it looked really good. And it is pretty good actually. So they have food trucks over here by the uh, the like viewing area for spectators. See the finish line over on that side and Spaceship Earth. Must admit, it's pretty good and like exactly what I wanted right now, which was cheese and carbs, because that's all this is. But still good. But yeah, so we're just hanging out right now, waiting for Katie to finish. I went around, I got pictures with uh, most of the finish line people. They were all the same as the 10K, which I had gotten yesterday. So I only took them with like some of the cooler characters, which means not Job of the Hut. But yeah. Thank you. With other people that have snacks in their box that they don't like. Maybe you can walk away with an extra cheese. Outside of the Run Disney area, the finish line is like basically right over the sun, kind of. But uh, it's like 8.30, 8.40ish right now, and Epcot opens at 9. And Katie usually passes by after Epcot opens. So I really, I really like to go into the park and then basically cheer on because uh, for this course, you run in uh, basically through uh, the UK Pavilion and you run all the way around World Showcase. So you can actually uh, spectate people from two different spots and even make it out and get to the finish then. So it's always pretty cool. So I'm going to go and do that. They open kind of that left side after you get in. It's like, oh, I guess I have a watch on. It's like 8.45 right now, but they let uh, people in early usually to stand by the rope up there. The other side's kind of rope drop. But you can go over on the left side and watch the runners run through, which is pretty cool. Uh, probably once they do rope drop, though, I'll go further into the park. So it's probably really loud because they're blasting Star Wars music around World Showcase, which is pretty cool. So everyone's still running all around. I just saw Katie, I was over at the UK there. And now I'm gonna try to get over here to see her uh, when they run down the center. Kind of see them over across the way over there, all running and such. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the half. Uh, so we said we went to bed really early, and yeah, we probably got a, at least six hours of sleep. That was about sleep. a little over seven in yeah. for me, which is pretty good. I uh, definitely didn't feel, well, I was kind of tired still, but anyways, we did a lot the day before. Yeah. But we got up about 2.30. Yeah. Sorry, the day before when we were at Magic, it was really hot, and we probably should have um, drank a little bit more water than we did. I mean, we did drink some. We did okay. We had our bottles with us. It could have been a lot worse. Them. Yeah. So I think we did okay. But anyway. 
Back yeah, so <laughs> we got up about 2.30 and got ourselves ready. Uh, basically same spiel. We had our bagels, coffee, water, and all that good stuff. And we got out. We went out to the bus at about 3 o'clock, right? Uh -huh. No, it was about 3.15. Oh, 3.15. Because I remember you were kind of standing there eating your stuff. And I was like, we should probably go. Because <laughs> the bus has started at 3. But, yeah, so got there. Got out there about 3.15, and the bus stop is right outside our yes. room, too. and so as we were walking up, a bus was pulling away. Yep, and there was no one there then. We were the first people, like, at the yeah. stop. And then as we waited there, at least, what, maybe 15 more people kind of Probably 15 or 20 stop. people, yeah, came. And then um, another bus came about 3.30, 3.35. Yeah. Um and uh only could take probably what five or six it was 11 people, people 11. said they could hold yeah um which kind of sucked and then it had to go um at which point you could tell the other people around who were like maybe hadn't done races before or just always go really early because they do say in the guide that you they recommend being on the bus by 3 30 and so mm -hmm. by this point it was past 3 30. um I have gotten on buses past 3.30 before and oh, I've yeah. never missed a race. Um, I think the only one we almost missed was the Star Wars year. We were like walking up pretty late, but I think we drove ourselves that year. Do you I don't remember. that year I'm talking about? We were, you were, I think it might have been the, f was it the first year? You were back in the corral with me and ran, ran ahead. We were in the last corral. It was the year we signed up late. Oh, that would have been the first year then, because okay. we had only signed up for the 10k originally, and then we added, the and half we to upgraded it. to the half. Yeah, I don't know if you remember this. I remember because it was like traumatic, but the they were singing the national anthem as we were walking up to get into the corral. Yeah, I don't and then remember I was like that. telling you to like go up as far as you can because I knew that you would be annoyed because mm -hmm. we were in the very back and you would be way faster than <laughs> everyone else. Um, anyway, uh, we digress. But anyway. So we were like, there were, you know, people like talking, talking down other people off the ledge. Like it'll be okay, you'll get there. <laughs> we and even by the time we got there, the corrals hadn't opened yet. So oh yeah, fine. we still we got there at like what four really? maybe. Yeah, we got there a little bit after four. I think like four or five. Yeah, because our the next bus showed up at about forty five. Yeah. So about three forty. Well, the next bus that actually stopped because one of them just drove by. Yeah, there was one that must have been full. Funny. Yeah. Um, but then the next one came, and I think pretty much everyone got was able to get on that one. Yeah, everyone I think got on that. So that's good. It was full by the time it got to us, though. Um, but I would say if you're um, looking for a tip, I would say the only reason to really get there before four, like way before four, would be if you want those character pictures and want to yeah. tip, because those lines get really long. Yeah, those lines were very long by the time we got there. Yeah, but but they were pushing this so much that the characters would also be at the end, too. Which so. wasn't completely true. Mostly, though. Still, they were missing some. Um, so, yeah, so we ended up getting there a little bit after four. You know, you have to go through bag check. Um, Which was one. pretty smooth I thought. Today it was it was very quick. Yesterday we waited in a line. But it was still only like a few minutes yesterday. Yeah. I was just thought it was weird that today we literally walked right through like walked right up to mm -hmm. a security person but yesterday we had to wait, you know, for one to be free. But maybe it's because we were later and yesterday we were earlier. Yeah. Um walked through and um, walk past where all the pictures and the stage and stuff are. They usually do have like a DJ out there as well. Um drop off your bag at bag check yep um bag check was pretty easy they just they put a sticker with your bib number on and then they give you a sticker that says like what truck your bag's going on i was wondering i was thinking about that today about how like they told you if you just had to remember or uh, nope they gave what? me a little sticker and i put it on the back side of my bib it was truck two today nice yep. i'm proud of you moving on up to truck two yep um and then um, at that point we went and got the corrals weren't open yet so we yeah so we still did all of that and the corrals weren't open and um, so we went and got in line for the rest um, for the restrooms 
Um, yeah, which took us like, what, 10, 15 minutes? Yeah, it moved pretty well. The lines are it was well long. organized, I thought. Yes, they've gotten a lot better. They've organized it to where I think almost all of the little like Porta Johns have lines mm-hmm. for a certain kind of. They kind of do a line in front of each kind of clump. Um, but and it's they like have cast it's a good s- size section. Yeah, and they have cast members out there kind of keeping things organized too, which is nice. Yeah. That was good, and then the corrals opened. Uh, again, I was in Corral A today. And where were you today? I was in F today, F. which uh, was they had up to G, so I was in like the third from last corral, and I pushed my way to the front. Nice. F G H. Did I say they went to G? They went yeah, to H. Yeah, I was gonna say it was like three. I that doesn't al- work. I forgot how the alphabet works. <laughs> But yeah, so, and I was an A. I, we did not push up to the front because we actually, where we were, we thought like, oh, there's not that many people around us. Uh, but once the race started, we actually realized okay. there were a lot of people in the corral. Uh, and it usually doesn't feel like that typically. So we had actually ended up getting a pretty slow start for us. Uh, but we did, we, after going hard yesterday, we decided we were going to go slower and we went, we stopped for Ray right away because she was in that same spot, same exact scene and everything. But it was pretty cool. We got photo pass there and then kept running around. They had the uh, 501st out again. And then you run back uh, the back road down towards Animal Kingdom. Mm-hmm. And when you go down there, they have like, it's like, like a battle scene. Yeah, well, before that, though, they have, like, that Darth... They had that Darth Vader part. It was, like, Darth Vader's voice, and they had, like, red LEDs that kind of pulsed with it. I don't know if you remember that. I have no memory. (laughs) Yeah, it happened. It was there. I believe you. Yeah, so they had that, and then you basically turn around the corner, and every year they usually do, like, a battle scene. Um, So it's usually the Battle of Endor, but they shoot, like, lasers across the path, Mm -hmm. and you can hear, like, Ewoks making sounds and stuff, Uh, and then kind of back behind the woods there, they have, like, these exploding barrels that have flames and stuff, and they also shot off fireworks, Fireworks, too, which is pretty cool. Which is really cool, but also confusing if you're in lower corrals and you're trying to keep track of how many corrals are behind you. Because you're not sure. Um, yeah, because you can like kind of guess like how much of a cushion you have, mm. um, should you need need one. But luckily, one of our um, one of the ladies around me was actually tracking the uh, balloon ladies, the dead last start ladies. Um, and so, like, I heard her say like, "Oh, they just started." So then I kind of had my I knew I knew what, cushion knew what was. your question was. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Uh, So we ran down that path. At the end of that scene, they have the Ewoks. uh, And they have a little scene behind them with one of, like, the walker legs and whatnot. Uh, And then kept running down. They had the Emperor's Chair along that path. This uh, whole path is about three miles Mm -hmm. to get to Animal Kingdom. Did they have the uh, trash compactor before Animal Kingdom, or was that after Animal Kingdom? Uh, Trash compactor was right before we got into Animal Kingdom. Because we did stop for that one. It's always a cute one. Yeah, we stopped and we did the trash compactor one. And then we got into Animal Kingdom and I don't recall there wasn't seeing any anything. characters. There wasn't anything in Animal Kingdom. But you run... I mean, Animal Kingdom itself is pretty cool. So. Yeah, it is. It's pretty scenic. But you run in the back, uh, basically back by Rafiki's like Planet Watch, where the train station is for that. Because you cross over the train tracks. And then you run down through Africa, Africa and you go and you go down towards the Lion King stage and you run on the back boardwalk up through Pandora and you kind of zigzag through Pandora a little bit. And then you go out and across uh, past the Tree of Life. Oh, and there they had um, some of the rebels again. That was a new thing they did this year was they had rebels. They had them at the start too. They came and they did like a little bit. Oh, because it looked like it was the same lady from the start. Um, the guy was there. The lady was further at the end of the race. They had rebels at three different spots during the half. Oh, okay. But yeah, so they had the rebels there, kind of 
cheering you on, telling you to join the resistance, and this and that, all that fun stuff. And then you run down and you go towards Dino Land and you come in by the big, huge, uh, like Brachiosaurus. Mm -hmm. And they're playing, I don't know if they played it the whole time, but when we went through, they played the Cantina song. I don't remember what was playing at that time. I, I really want to believe that they played the Cantina song the entire race. That would be pretty so funny. The people who are sitting there to listen to it for probably two hours at that point. Yeah, but we. Ran through there, and you go out behind Dino Land, and you basically run kind of out and around to get to the parking lot of Animal Kingdom. They had more 501st over right when you get out there, which was cool. Again, a lot of them out there at each time. They had four different spots for the half marathon, which was pretty cool. And then after that, they got out to the parking lot, and they had the uh, basically the upside-down scene where it's... Huh. Yeah, it's Hoth, and you're hanging upside down, uh, but they just take the picture upside down, but the you reach up for the lightsaber. It's always a pretty cool picture. Yeah, I always like watching how people do the picture. <laughs> yeah, well, it was funny, too, though. Steven's so tall that, like, when we got in the scene, he just, like, could reach up and grab it. <laughs> I'll put that picture in then, because it's That's pretty good. funny. That's good, I like that. Um. But, yeah, then we got out of Animal Kingdom... And long journey. yeah, this is definitely like the longest <laughs> and most boring and then part. My part, it was the hottest. No, well, it wasn't the hottest. The boardwalk was hotter. The sun had come up by the time I got there, so it was a little. Yeah, a little even bit. for us, it was the point where we were like our pace slowed down a little bit and yeah. felt starting to feel our bodies. Yeah, and you had that overcast and stuff. Mm -hmm. Slow down. Yeah, anyways, though, so we go and you run up Osceola all the way to World Drive. I don't... Oh, they had Chewy. You got pictures with Chewy all along that part. And I thought there was something else, but I cannot recall right now. On World Drive? On Osceola. Osceola, sorry. Um, I know at the overpass there were more rebels. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll talk. <laughs> so you go and you merge down onto World Drive, and along I think they have a lot of face characters maybe getting ready and stuff, and for the opening. that's that was my thought too was maybe I think they're preparing they have so many. for yeah. uh, Galaxy's Edge to open. So they have like costumes and yeah and everything. So I'm guessing and they were new. Right? You've never seen them before. Yeah. But anyways, so we ran down World Drive. They had the scene where like the speeders you can sit on. Mm -hmm. And then you went up and you merged onto uh, the road that like Epcot Resorts are on it's and all Epcot that. Resort it might be. Yeah, so we got onto that road and going up that merge, they had more rebels. However, I don't know who was out for you, but for us, it was these two like girls that were probably like our age. No, because there it was um, an older looking woman and a guy. So. Okay, it was different. But for us, I don't know if they, like, didn't really give them any direction for what they were supposed to say. Because it honest, it felt like it was just, like, two girls that showed up to a convention in cosplay. And they're like, oh my gosh, look at all these people. Like, go, let's go, Rebels. It was, like, it was honestly, like, that level. Like, I'm not exaggerating it at all. They're like, yeah, run, run for the resistance, people. It was, like... It was just so corny, but it was hilarious. Like, it was a good... That's good. ...needed laughter. La it was, laughing is good. Yeah, like, all the other Rebels were, like, very scripted and serious, and they were just, like... Well, they were, um, more... Um, those... That spot, it was definitely different people, because it was a woman and a guy, and it was an older woman. Um, but they were definitely more, um, humorous than the other ones. They were, like... Mm -hmm. They were saying a lot of funny things. They were saying something like, they were like pointing out people's appearance and like a guy who had really long hair and they would be like, um, uh, the, uh, the first order is going to make you cut your hair or that's funny. Uh, the, the resistance is the girl your mom wants you to bring home. Like that's the kind of <laughs> things they were saying. That's funny. So they were definitely being more humorous there. So maybe they were like purpose. They might have been doing that on purpose. That, maybe, was, that yeah. was their like take on the, hey guys, you should be funny here. <laughs> yeah. But 
Then you run up and you go to the one of the back entrances of Hollywood, basically right behind the uh, Phantasmic stage. And they had Darth Maul there. And then you run up a hill up to the top of the stage there, and they had the uh, 501st there again. And then you run kind of down the rolling hill, that's the like queue for Phantasmic. And you run by Tower of Terror, and then you run down, is that Hollywood Boulevard or Sunset? It's Sunset. So you run down Sunset, and they had um, a whole line there. It was probably f like Just three or four different, well, yeah, photo pass okay. photographers. And they had uh, three or four sets of stormtroopers, too, that you could stop and do pictures with. They did not have that when I went through, but okay. that could be because the park was open at that point. Oh, uh, yeah, that very much was probably yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, so they had stormtroopers and a lot of photo pass. There was probably like, I want to say at least 12 photo pass photographers along that well, whole area. There was one set out because mm -hmm. the way they, they divide it so one side of the street people can walk on to get to tower and the other side is closed off to everyone where the, the, the shops are. I think maybe they were over on the shop side. Gotcha. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, so then you run basically out the front of Hollywood and you got to go down uh, where the new bus station is and you run to the path that takes to the boardwalk. Uh, you run down that path. I don't think there was anything on that path, right? The boardwalk path? They played yeah. music under that bridge. Yeah. But that was Yep, so they did that and that's right at about mile 11 that you go and you do that whole part and then you go you run around the boardwalk and they at had, the end of the boardwalk they had the star wars rebels characters yeah and then when i went through the boardwalk um people obviously have like woken up and stuff so there's lots of like cheering crowd and stuff. support at yeah. that point um, it was someone dressed as a triceratops yes, which is pretty cool it was a, it's like a big blow up yes it was like a huge costume yeah <laughs> was that was really pretty cool. funny um so you get the fun you know fun stuff like that happening out there yep and then we went in and you go basically when you go into uh what's the back entrance of epcot called um the International Gateway. International Gateway. <laughs> you actually hang left, uh, right by where the Skyliner's being built. So you basically run through like the Skyliner construction, which is kind of cool. You get to see like the progress on that, and it's almost done basically. And you go and you swing around and you go in at the UK, and you go back and you do a full loop around World Showcase again. I think right about France or so was where the 12 mile mark was. So we went and you go all the way around World Showcase, they play Star Wars music, and they have the uh, torches from Illuminations lit, which is always pretty cool. Um, again, I don't, I don't think they were lit when no. I went through. Oh. No, they were actually. <laughs> they were? Okay. Yes, they were, because I remember when you I was cheering there. for yeah. you, okay. noticing them. Let's it's just harder to see them um, because it's daylight. But yeah, funny. so those are lit, they play the Star Wars music. Uh, one thing, I don't know if they were out for you, but all the people who were showing up for work, like around the countries, they all brought flags out from their country and they were all cheering for people. Um, they've done that before. It wasn't every single country, but Germany, Italy, and China were all out there, I know. Um, we had those. Uh, there were people for France out for us. France and I out for thought us. somewhere else we had people out France too. wasn't out for us because their pavilion is open. Open, right, opens. yeah. Yeah, so they have to actually be working at the bakery and all that. Right. Stuff. But that was fun. They were like genuinely Maybe cheering, Norway, which was fun. Norway, again. Norway was out because I believe they were singing their national anthem. Oh, that's adorable. I think. See, they, and that one is open when the park opens, so they yeah. would have gone in and started working. That yeah, and um, there were people out at Mexico too. Oh yeah, there was one girl at Mexico when I went by, and she was she was so like energetic and cute. It was it was funny. Yeah, that was fun. And then you run right down the main strip uh, towards the oh my gosh, 
towards the Epcot ball, Spaceship Earth. There we go. <laughs> We're Words. So tired. Yeah. Words are slipping, slowly fading. But then you go and you hang that right again, and it's that same finish as all the races. Uh, they had the 501st out again right there. And right, uh, right past that, you hit the 13th mile marker. The character on it was Ray. That was one cool thing. They had light side characters mixed into the mile markers, which I don't mm -hmm. think they had before. And then after that, you finish. And you went and you got your medals. I do really like this year's medals, actually. Okay. I think they're really they're cool. On you. Yeah, I do. I think they're okay. They're not like my most favorite medals, but I think they are definitely not the worst. I think they're pretty cool. <laughs> and they're all new, they're too. Different. It's they're not like rehashes yeah. of old medals. That I'm glad for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we were finished. Uh, I went and I got some pictures with some... It was all the same characters as the 10K, so it was K2SO, BB-8, um, da, 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 the Ewok, Kylo Ren, uh, Bubba, Fett, um, Jabba the Hutt, and uh, Darth Vader. So I only went to a couple of them. I think I got BB-8 and then basically BB-8 and the face characters. I didn't do Jabba and K2SO again. And then I hung out. Uh, Katie was, I think after a few minutes after I finished, you hit your 10K. Isn't it? I didn't feel like it was that Maybe. long. Maybe. Maybe. But yeah, so I hung out a while, uh, went and kind of watched some of the finish and stuff, and then once 9 o'clock hit, I went ahead and went into Epcot, and it's a lot of fun to go and watch the race in there. It's not nearly as crowded to watch, like, basically the finishers, because most people either don't have passes or are not going into the park to cheer, because yeah. people have things to do. Yeah. Uh, so it's always fun to go in there and watch people cheer. Uh, so I went, I went all the way back to the UK and waited for Katie to pass. Got to see her there, and then when she passed me there, I doubled back and went to basically the where World Showcase starts, and you go and you make the straightaway to Spaceship Earth, and I saw her again there. And that was funny too, because like people were like, "Oh, look, he's got his medals already." Um, all that fun, yeah, basically. And then you finished. Yep. I finished. Yeah. It was hot. It like, was so just standing out there, I felt hot. bad for the people who were still my, out because... My like, hands and my toes were, like, so swollen. Yeah. It was... It was yeah, it was, was another rough fun. one. Yeah, because, like, I always finish, and usually it's, like, just barely sunrise, maybe, by the time I'm done. But, like, you guys get the full brunt of the heat. So, all power to you. Thank you. It's, I said that to Steven, too. I'm like, it's kind of crazy. Like, these people spend more time on the course and hotter weather. Like, that's nuts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, super power. <laughs> but, yeah, I, overall, it was fun. I was a little disappointed that there weren't as many light side characters, being that it was rival run. Um, so That's like it, a little one-sided. Yeah, it still, honestly, still felt like the dark side challenge. Yeah. Um, they really didn't. But they did, like, they did push the rival thing a lot, um, like, in talk, like, in the, the talking before the races and in, like, the, the photo ops they had available like at the X but like they did mm -hmm. like push it but they didn't they just didn't have like the character yeah I didn't think they had the character well. support for it um, um, and one thing they did too this year was you got to pick your side and that was kind of the big speculation was what are they going to do different with this uh, basically the only thing different was the bibs but it was cool well, seeing the different bibs have, for all the different yeah, races so they though they had different bibs um, but they also had um, different like merch for. They did have yes, too. some different so you merch, could buy, which is pretty like, cool. They had a, two shirts that were pretty much the same shirt, but one was light side, one was dark yeah. side. So like, let's say you're in a couple and one did one, the other you could you know each get a shirt or something. You know, so they had stuff like that. Yeah, that's fair. Which I think they did well. I thought the merch they did well this year was really good too. So they did a good job. Yeah, that's. I keep saying it. 
uh, basically every expo in the last year now. So like since good. Wine and Dine, the merch has been consistently pretty Improving, cool. Yeah. 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 Overall, it was a pretty good weekend. Yep, definitely. I mean, uh, after the half, we came back. Um, we did nothing today. We showered, um, and then we went and grabbed some lunch, and then we came, went back, and um, slept for a slept while. Slept for a little while, then got up and walked. We made a dinner reservation at uh, Maya, Maya Cafe uh, Grill. Maya at Grill, sorry. Coronado as well. That was um, decent. Yeah, that I would go back there. Yeah. I don't know if I would like go out of my way to go back there, but if I was staying here, yeah, I would absolutely eat here. Yeah, most likely will again because overall we really liked it here. Yeah. Um, I would go there to eat. Uh, maybe do you, like your one special meal there or something. Yeah, it was good. Um, and then I mean, and now we're here. Cause yep. We so we have, <laughs> we booked through Monday, so we didn't have to rush to get ourselves checked out and all that. Yeah. Which is always nice, just being able to relax. You don't yeah. have to drive anywhere. Well, and you gotta know yourself. And I'm very slow, and sometimes I've pushed the 11 o'clock checkout. Mm-hmm. I'm usually not like getting back to the room, but like you know, showering. Getting yourself ready and packed up and stuff. Day, like that sometimes that'll get close to that eleven o'clock time, so Yeah. But yeah, overall, pretty good weekend. It was wonderful this time. Yeah, I thank loved it. <laughs> Me too. Good. But I think that about wraps it up. We're losing dark. the light, which yeah. means we're losing we're our quality, we're like fading. pretty heavily. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe below and all the other fun stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.